Muy buenas y tuve a un nuevo vídeo de Another Code. Continuamos con esta segunda aventura en el inicio que habíamos dejado en el anterior capítulo. Después de finalizar la historia principal. Este Another Code R. Y nos han robado la mochila. Vamos a un campamento. Lake Juliet es una pasada. Colgante de mamá. No tengo forma de gota que eh, papá me dio. Como recuerdo de mamá, contiene un misterioso líquido que brilla. Vamos a examinarlo. Bueno, no dice mucho tampoco el colgante. ¿eh? Alguna cosa tiene que tener. Y el dash. Vale, aquí tenemos. Este es el chaval. Este es el que me ha robado la mochila. No sé nada de él. Es algo que corre como un rayo. Tengo que encontrarlo y recuperar la mochila. Porque dentro llevo muchas cosas muy importantes. Espero se haya puesto a fisgonear en ella. De descubrir quién es y por qué razón me ha robado. Y bueno, pues aquí está el, la familia. Vale. Tenemos aquí a estos. Siguen saliendo. Hmm. Bueno, claro. Unen la familia de, de Bill, la madre Franny. Y sí, se va hilando un poquito la historia. Bueno, vamos al campamento a ver. Una recepción. Hombre, un campamento así en el bosque. Llega a volar, ¿eh? A ver si te juntas con gente que esté bien. Parece mentira el que el cartero llegue hasta este sitio. Me quiero estar abrazando el cartero. Vamos a ver. Hello. There's no one here. That's a power stuff. What is this music? Does this place have its own theme song? Okay, this is not my jam. <laughs> hey, so. Cantando el. La puerta para empleados. En vez de picar, intenta abrir. Lo primero que tenía que haber hecho, vamos. Mira yo. Tú la persiana. Oh. Hay una sala detrás, será la otra tienda. Tiene pinta de que no haya nadie. Para que disfrutan de lo lindo en el campamento sería una buena publicidad. ¿Para ha salido? Esa desatención no tiene que ser muy buena para la iglesia. Dejarme voy y ya está. Bueno, estaba fuera, eso que estaba abrazado al cartel. Tenía pinta de monitor, al menos de campamento o algo así. Ah, he puesto. Me parece el del Zelda con los carteles. There, all done. ¿Hm? Oh, hello there. Oh, um. Hello. Now that's some spirit. What can I do for you? Can I ask you something? Absolutely. I stopped by the guest house, but it was empty. Is it closed today? Hmm, that's strange. It shouldn't be. He must have been taking another one of his breaks. Who? There's a student working at the guest house part time. Not the hardest worker I've ever seen. Takes a lot of breaks. Huh, really? I'm sure he'll be back soon. I guess I'll try again then. Good plan. <sighs> Unlucky. First my bag stolen, now the guest <coughs> house is empty. It's just one thing after another. Is something wrong? I'm Dan Maxwell, a forest ranger. Oh, for a oh cool. Like a forest cop? 
Uh, one of my jobs is to help folks in truck. Call me Dan. What's your name? Ashley. Ashley Mizuki Robbins. Well, hi there, Ashley. Mind telling me what happened? Someone stole my bag. What? That's terrible. I was at the bus stop and a boy snuck up behind me. He snatched my bag and ran off. A boy, you say? I'd just gotten off the bus, too. <laughs> Unluckiest girl. I see. I'm sorry that happened. Can you describe the stolen bag? Well, it's a blue backpack about this big. Thanks. Got it. I'll keep my eyes out for the boy and your bag when I'm on patrol. Thank you so much. Just in case, I'd like you to file a theft report at the guest house. You should tell your parents about it too, if you have any. Are they here with you? Dad's at the campsite. Probably. Whew. That's a relief to hear. You must be shaken, but I hope you can relax <coughs> once you meet up with your dad. If he was remotely normal, then... I bet that kid is back from his break by now. Why don't you try the guest house again? Yeah, okay. Thanks. Bueno, pues vamos a la recepción, a ver si está. Como veis, he tocado la sensibilidad de las cámaras. No sabía que en el. que voy a tocarlo en el otro. Y en este sí lo toqué. Me acuerdo que me ha costado un montón girar y demás. Bueno, pues lo hemos hecho y va bastante mejor. ¿Alguien ahí? ¿Será que trabaja aquí? Um, hmm. ¿Alguien me oye? Hmm? Hay un montón de cosas ahí detrás, ¿será la trastienda? Están los papeles. O se inventarían. Uh... Hmm. Sí, está conectado al cable. Los enchufos. A ver qué hago para llamar su atención. Y voy a buscar. Oh. Claro, ni se ha conectado desde aquí. Se puso que no suena nada. Es como es por detrás el reproductor. Lo podría conectar aquí. Este lado, ¿eh? Está bien. Bueno, mucho fallo lo tienes. No se entera, me da que esto no va a salir. No sé si el volumen estará demasiado bajo. ¿Qué puedo hacer? Pues apagar el equipo. Voy a no apagar el equipo. Para el equipo, ¿no? Por lo dejado. Are you like a customer? I've been asking for help, but. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. What were you doing back there? Writing my music. Really? You were writing a song? Yeah, I was on my break. But now we got a customer, so break time's over, I guess. Las visitas son lo primero, dice. <coughs> Hello there. Welcome to Lake Juliet. Back on the clock now, huh? I'm Tommy Harrison, guest house chief of staff. Tommy Harrison. Chief, I heard you worked here part. Where'd you hear that? Damn, the forest ranger told me about you. Said you're a bit of a slacker. Implied you take a lot of naps. Aw, oh, man, you really said that? It's that song. Whenever I... Nah, I get it. I heard it. Once is enough. Right? You understand. It's such an earworm. Makes it so hard to write my own music. So what can I do for you? I'd like to check in for the campsite. Okie doke, just a sec. Just 
take this form and sign your name. Ashley Mizuki Robbins. Ashley? Oh, you must be Dr. Robbins' daughter. He said you were coming. He asked me to help you out. He asked you to help me instead of coming himself? Here you go. Use this key card to get around. We keep the entrance gate locked. But this will get you through. <coughs> Do you have any bags? Or do you just like to travel light? I had a bag, but some kids stole it. Are you serious? Ugh, kids these days. Oh, right. Dan told me I should file a theft report here. Can I do that now? Sure thing. Here's the form. Fill it out, and I'll give it to the police. Es muy papel que antes, yo creo. Looks good. I'll take it from here. Thanks, Tommy. Man, there's been a lot of weird stuff going on lately. Mhm. Mm raras? Bueno, la música, bueno. Earlier you said you were writing a song. Yeah. I write the songs for my band. Cool. First I come up with the melody and the chord progression, and then we work on the song together as a band. Wow, that's pretty awesome. I could. My boss says I should put the same effort into my work. What other weird stuff has been going on around here? Nothing all that major, just odd little things. Like three days ago, some food went missing from storage. Then today, your bag got stolen. Not to mention this shady guy in a black suit checking in alone. Hope he's not here to cause any trouble. Is this place dangerous? Nah, not really. It's just a quiet little town. I've worked here for three years with no problems. You've been doing this a long time. I'm buds with the owner. Let's me work between college semesters. But I'm graduating this year, so this is my last season. Okay, you're good to go. Enjoy Lake Juliet. Thanks. Oh yeah. This is your first time here, right? Yep. Then you should check out the shop. We got refreshments, some souvenirs, a rock from the mine. A rock? It's cooler than it sounds. Take a picture and you'll see. Oh, and there's a sale. All the stuff on that shelf? Nice. Too bad I don't have any money. No worries. You don't need cash. Just use the card I gave you. You can use it to shop? Yep, the card keeps track. And you'll settle your bill at checkout. I bet yours will be paid for by your... My dad? <laughs> I might have to do some shopping then. ¿Y ropa? Si no tienes muda, ¿qué vas a hacer? La canción está en el piro. A la piedra, me ha dicho que haga una foto. Changes in pitch. Wow, I've never seen anything like that. They used to mine these rocks in the area. What's up? Oh, hey. Hmm. Phone's ringing. Can you hold on a Hello? Hey, it's me! What's up? Listen, can you... Not now, I'm on the clock. Come on! Just for a while... 
Okay, okay, I'll swing by later if I have time. A friend of mine is asking me to hang out at the campsite. Same place you're staying. Are you going? Maybe. Oh, cool. You probably need to know where you're going. Just go through the gate and take a right at the fort. Uh, through the gate, then right. Got it. One more thing. Here's a brochure. It's got a map of the area. Could come. Vale. That's it. Have fun. Yeah. Bueno, ya tenemos el mapa. Usar la tarjeta. Qué moderno. ¿Ah? Ah. un flashback. Ojo. La madre y ella. Ah. That memory of mom just came out of Gente, esto camino a la derecha, pero estas. I guess there are people around. Hay gente por ahí. Ha desaparecido y no hay nada que hacer. ¿Puedes buscar de nuevo en tu casa? Yo te lo he dicho, he mirado por todas partes mil veces. Y sabes, ¿no has venido a acampar? Ya tiene algún follón. En fin, voy tirando por la zona de acampar. Se apañen, ¿no? Total. Qué cámaras y todo, ¿eh? Wow, so many people. Pass me the veggies and I'll cut them. Is this good? This, Richard? Yeah, that's it. Put it over there, will you? Oh. Dad. Ashley! Mm. Oh. Over here! Mm. <laughs> forgot to pick me up. Huh? Don't forget to pick up your daughter, Richard. Eso dijo la Jessica. Oh, shoot. What's wrong? Not feeling well? Are you tired from the bus ride? No. Isn't it obvious? Oh, of course. If your tummy hurts, the bathroom's right over there. That's not it. Dad, look at me. Can't you tell I'm missing something? Oh, you forgot your bag. No, I didn't forget anything. Someone stole my bag as soon as I got off the bus. W what? Was the das in the bag? No, I keep it in my pouch. Oh, good. I'm glad it's safe. You're glad the das is safe, but it's fine. I lost literally everything else. 
No, I, I mean... I filed a theft report. <clears throat> That's the right way to handle it. Well done. I think I was about your age when I filed my first theft report. Are you serious right <coughs> now? Oh, um... Ugh. Uh... Um, let me introduce you to everyone. Ugh. He's avoiding a fight. Ashley, come on over. <laughs> Venga, me presenta los Rex científicos estos. Record. That's Sofia next to him. Sofia? Beside her is Gina and Ian. And that leaves... Hmm. Rex's daughter Elizabeth and her friend Janet, but... Las dos que están allí perdidas antes. I could have sworn they were here a minute ago. No way I'm gonna remember all this. Oh, I've got to prep the grill. Oh, hold on a sec. What am I supposed to do? Go say hi. Everyone's really nice. Vaya planazo. Are you kidding me? Bueno, vamos a hablar con estos. Gina y el otro, no acuerdo. Um... Un consiguiente para entender plenamente los mecanismos biológicos responsables de la conservación de los recuerdos. Mm. Se precisa mejorar la transmisión sináptica. No es cierto. Yep. Exacto, es el método más eficaz. But... Pero ¿cómo pretendes cambiar exactamente las propiedades de cada sinapsis por separado? Uh... ¿Con la funcionalidad almacenada en la red neuronal? Mm. No me vale presentarme a unos desconocidos. Bueno, o pues si sí, estos que parecen los simpáticos. No vamos a hablar mm. con ellos. ¿Qué hacemos entonces? Mm. Hay que carne y verdura para un regimiento. Entonces, ¿qué hago? Me he dicho que no. Sofía, en cuanto a la cuestión de la que hablamos... Sí, necesito más tiempo. ¿No crees que ya es hora de seguir adelante? No te quedas prisa. Quieres que todo salga bien, ¿no? Bueno, lógicamente es que... Pongo el padre. Dad, ven conmigo. No quiero verlos todos por mí mismo. ¿Alguien lo ha visto? Strange. It should have been delivered by now. But I can't find it anywhere. Yeah. Hello? Dad? This is no good. We can't start the cookout without it. I can't do this. What to do? What to do? Ugh. Huh? What's the matter? Can you give me money for the bus fare home? Jessica said I could ask you. Of course. I'll buy your ticket when you leave. Can you give me the cash now? I need to go home. What? Why? I was looking forward to spending time with you. Me? With me? Really? Yeah. Don't you at least want to have a cookout? It's fun. There's nothing fun about a cookout with total strangers. I could be at home practicing guitar or something, but instead I'm at some lame cookout. You play guitar? Yes, I'm in a band with friends who I know. I had no idea. Oh, surprising. You know nothing about me. I have interests that are just as important to me as your research is to you. My music is the most important thing in my life right now. Ashley. I'm for real, you know. My band is going to get signed one day. Why haven't you told me about all this before? I've wanted to, but you're never home. Uh, I'm just no good as a dad, huh? I don't know the first thing about you. I feel the same about you. Why did you invite me to come camping, of all things? Ashley, I asked you to come here because... Because I wanted to show you Lake Juliet one more time. What? You must not remember. Your mother brought you here once, when you were little. Mom brought me here? 
She did. This place was special to us. That's where I proposed to her. I had no idea. As for why I took a job here at JC Valley, it's because of Judd Fitzgerald. <coughs> He's the founder of the lab. And he was your mother's mentor when she first started her research into memory. Oof. Yeah. So I I decided to work here because of the connection to her. Dad. Kind of a low blow, Dad. What am I supposed to say when you bring up Mom like that? That must be why. Why what? I might remember a few things about my trip here with Mom. Really? I remembered walking with her when I saw the gate. Impressive. That was 13 years ago. Well, I only remembered a little. Will you tell me if you remember anything else? Yeah, sure. I want to know why your mother came to this place, and why she brought you. She came here without telling you? <coughs> she did. Mm -hmm. I need to find out why she was here. Because if I do, I think it will reveal the truth behind her death. This is the first time in two years I've talked to Dad about I haven't seen him look so serious in forever. There's something I want you to have. What is it? Your mother left it at JC Valley. This was Mom's bracelet? Yeah. R A S Prisionera ahora. Bueno, espérate. Esto es como el dash, pero. Whoa, hang on. What is this? Huh? Could she have configured this for Ashley? What the? I can't take it off. What? Let me see. It's completely locked, but we won't be able to remove it here. Dr. Robbins. What is it, Gina? We can't find the charcoal. Oh, right. Me presentará la hija. Everyone's waiting, Doctor. We're ready to eat. Right. About that. Tommy hasn't delivered it yet. I guess I'll have to go pick it up. Guest house, Tommy? Bet he's slacking off again. He probably forgot all about it. I'll go get the charcoal. Are you sure? <coughs> I'm the reliable well, one. Remember? It's fine. I'll be right back. Well... Me puesto la pulsera esta del demonio. ¿Y estas dos? A ver. ¿Quién hay? No, ya no están ahí. Máquina de reciclaje. Consigues fichas reciclando latas. Las fichas se pueden emplear en diversas máquinas de vendedores de chicas. Ve que puedo ganar fichas echando unas latas vacías aquí. Si sí me acuerdo cuando encuentro alguna. Vamos a poner que vez en la ficha. Eso vamos a hacer ahora. Sí, 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 sí.
Tío, la música, por favor. Tommy, missing in action. Maybe he's in the back. Is that a dog? There it is again. Back here? Niño. What are you doing? You're the kid who stole my bag. No salga, no salga. The brass lit up. What's it doing? Ah! Oh, yeah, uh, it's coming from the das. The ras is responding to this device, and then the das responded. Ahora ya para abrir la tierra. Ah. Como se puso el botón en el DAS. A los botones que coinciden con los iconos que se vayan demostrando para desbloquear la tierra de su vida. Es importante de contrasar de la puerta. Ahí. Oh, que la X no es ahí. Y con el mando de... de tal posición de la mano de Xbox. Oh, wow. Empty. Where'd he go? Deja un poco trastocado. A ver cómo. Deja que no tenemos provisiones de patatas fritas. ¿Mm? <coughs> Parecen estar llenas de todo lo que venden en el local. El, el tío este deja la puerta de atrás abierta para que la gente se meta por ahí. Es que se ha quedado, se ha quedado pillado. Oh. Este es el hijo de uno de esos. ¿no? this gap I should be able to... uh -huh. It's a watch. Elco. Did the kid To my dear son Matthew. Este reloj se lo dieron Matthew. Just trying to get through the hole in the fence? Wait, no way. What? Did you break into the storage room? What? Okay, hang on. Just tell me how you got in there. I... I... The door was locked. I shouldn't admit to opening the door myself. It was, um, open when I got here. Ashley, seriously... It was. Honest. We didn't get the charcoal delivery, so I came to pick it up. I was waiting for you when I heard a sound from the back. I went inside and saw the back door open. Someone's been eating the inventory. Was it you? Excuse you? I'm no thief. Then who was it? Probably the boy who escaped through that fence. What boy? Where is he? He ran off. Sure he did. Do you have any proof? El reloj, no. No es el reloj. Hmm. 
Muy bien, demuéstrame entonces lo que no fuiste tú. Vamos a ver cómo... Cómo convencemos a este pavo. Me enseñó el reloj. Eso lo puso aquí. Vamos a examinarlo nosotros. Matthew, este es el reloj. El perro también, vamos a... Vale, yo me morís. No, oh, reto más vale en el espacio. Y a ver si tiene alguna relación con. Bueno, nada, por aquí no te puedo tirar. ¿Qué quieres que examine? Darn it. Mira, acá está hecho una pena y una asesina igual. ¿Me piro? No, y yo, se ve la pisada de perro, vamos. Maybe. Yo te encuentro algo fuera y voy a echar un vistazo. Cuidado que salgas por la puerta trasera, pero que no se te ocurra escapar. Y pues tonto, ¿no? Entiendo que la hija del profesor también, no tiene sentido que... Prueba, mm. ¿Cuántas harán falta para convencerlo? Pues, nada, todas pisadas, tío. Ah. Esto puede que me sirva. ¿Cómo se lo enseña a Tommy? Pues bueno, le das alguna foto y punto. Pero el, el, el Tommy este es medio tonto, porque vamos... Las pisadas tiene dentro de la cabaña también. Esto sería Tommy, no lo va a poder poner en un pelo. Mm. Si me convenciera Tommy con otra foto. No está suficiente. La de la puerta. Puede ser. Esas de las escalones eran más llamativas. Es que lo tiene aquí, ¿sabes? Tommy. Mira lo que tengo. There. Mira, detrás he encontrado estas huellas de niño y de perro. Dejaría al crío. Mm. No fastidies, ¿en serio? Hey. What is it? ¿A qué hace falta dos? Uh. No se me han dicho eso. ¿Y esta, Tommy? ¿Y esta? ¿Y esta? ¿Y es más evidente? Porque estás evidente de narices, Tommy, ¿eh? Pero bueno, si no te lo crees. Yo voy a enseñar esta, ya veréis, me dirige. Me dirá que no. Hey, what is it? Mm. No demuestra nada. Decimos que tiran al Tommy un poquito especial. Porque vale que la otra que he enseñado puede ser en cualquier sitio de, mm. del campo. Pero... Tenía no al Tommy. Hey, what is it? ¿Mm? Espera, esto ya lo he visto. ¿Cómo? Mm. 
puso la pista, eh. A ver, pruebas. Espero que con otra bastante... Basta para que convencer a Tony. Hmm. Aquí se ha escapado por este agujero de la laborada. El agujero me sirve como prueba. No hace una foto del agujero. Que no lo ve el Tommy el agujero de la laborada. ¿Ves el agujerazo? Por ahí se ha escapado el crío. La última vez que ha salido. He visto el agujero, pero... No he venido intentando escabullirse por él. Tío, ¿qué más tengo que hacer para que me creas? Vale, vale, me has convencido. ¿Otra ha sido otra persona? Este es tonto y encima hemos perdido al crío. ¿Así que finalmente crees que soy inocente en todo esto? Sí, ok. Debería haber escuchado a ti. Estoy feliz de que... ¿Cómo crees que el crío llegó? La puerta fue definitivamente cerrada. Can I just get that charcoal? My dad sent me for it. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. Called it. I can take it over. Everyone's waiting. That'd be great. Thanks. I'll grab it. Go ahead and wait by the counter. This one. Grab it on the wall. Is that everything? Yep. As ordered. One bag of charcoal. Need any help? I've got it. I'll let you get back to work. Break time's over, I guess. I know it'll be hard, but really try. Hey now. Later, Tommy. Vale, vea todo. Solo de luego con esa música. Ashley, wait up. Yeah? I really should be the one to drop it off. Let me grab it. I also want to apologize to Dr. Robbins for the trouble. Sure. I'll carry it. Okay. Están ligando los dos. Ya van a contar su vida de camino. están los otros dos mi padre where is he Ashley right I'm Ian Tyler a colleague of Dr Robbins he asked me to give you a message he had to go deal with an emergency at J C Valley I offered to go instead since you're here and all but he said it had to be him. Seriously? I have to say, Dr. Robbins is very dedicated. He was so focused on preparing for this trip, he skipped breakfast. And now he'll miss lunch because he's run off to fix some new problem. I've never met anyone so willing to drop everything and rush off to... Dedication aside, who could walk away from a feast like this? He must be perpetually hungry. Hi, Ashley. I'm Gina Barnes. Dr. Robin said you're welcome to his chair. So let's have a good time. Okay. I'll leave the charcoal here. Thanks. Tommy! 
Over here. Yo. It's those girls. So, about the band contest. Contest? We still haven't found the music player. Seriously? What are we gonna- We'll re-record it. Change it up with a new song, maybe? That'll never work. That was our best performance by far. Well, we can't just throw away our chance. Ugh. So those two are in Tommy's band. Your food is ready, Sophia. Oh, I'm all right. I already ate. I'll take it, Director. Ian, grab the salt. Desintegra mucho tampoco. So boring. If I knew it would be like this, I would have gone to band practice instead. Este. <sighs> Hello. Huh? Mm? You must be Ashley. Uh-huh. Pleasure to meet you. My name is Ryan Gray. I work with Dr. Robbins. Do you have time to chat? This guy... Have I... met him somewhere before? Rapos? Capítulo 2, la historia de Matthew. ¿Qué era este el Matthew? Anda al reloj. Pleasure to meet you. My name is Ryan Gray. I work with Dr. Robbins. Ryan Gray. Pues este no es Matthew tampoco. Do you have time to chat? Este es... Doctor Ryan Gray, ¿no? Nice to meet you. This guy before? I swear I've met him somewhere. It must be my imagination. Do you truly doubt your memories? Huh? What? I know what was going through your mind just now. I feel like I've met him before, but it's just my imagination. Isn't that right? How could you know that? I'm a behavioral psychologist, you see. Plus, your facial expressions are quite easy to read. Are you saying that I have a bad poker face? You're the same as ever. Always up front with your emotions. Wait, so you do know me? What's your guess? I was here with my mom 13 years ago. So maybe I saw you then. Nice deduction. Myelination in our hippocampus is a slow process, said to only finish when we're around four years old. That's why most people can't remember their early years. Okay, but as soon as I got here, I remembered. You remembered something from all those years ago? Yeah. I'm not even sure I'd heard of Lake Juliet before, but once I was here and saw the place, I remembered the scenery. 
And, but if you asked me if I was sure those memories were real, I wouldn't be able to say yes. As I said, it's tough to recall events from that early in life. Yet, sometimes, an event can bring them to the surface. Some call these sudden memories flashbacks. They often occur after psychological trauma. Do you remember ever having such an experience? Sí. Muerte su madre. Yeah, I do. My mom died on the night of my third birthday. That was 13 years ago. Ah, yes. That's Sayoko Robbins. She was only 28 years old. You know what happened to my mom? Of course. As a memory researcher myself, the sudden death of Sayoko Robbins was an unforgettable tragedy. To meet her daughter after all these years is truly you and I have a lot in common. A what? Speaking with you like this brings back memories of Sayoko. Particularly your eyes. It's like your mother is looking out at me. She was a genius. She began her research at just 16 years old. That was around the time when I first met her. She was a scientist by the time she was my age? That's incredible. Your mother was an outstanding scientist. I could never forget her. You said you and I are alike. How is that? I lost my mother when I was three, too. Really? Yes. Do you wish you could remember her? That's never been a desire. What? Does one need memories of their mother for a happy life? Well, my memories of my mom are precious to me. And without her, I wouldn't be who I am. I want to know everything about my mom. I strongly empathize with how important... Yes, we really are a lot alike. How else are we alike? We should discuss that some other time. Sayoko? You said mom was unforgettable. Can you tell me more about her? I remember Sayoko like I saw her yesterday. But my memories of her... I guess I'd like to keep those for myself. What? I've never met a smarter person. She was a brilliant son. It's because of her that I am who I am today. So maybe it's selfishness that makes me want to keep them for myself. And it's probably a very strange thing to say to her daughter. No, I, I get it. I guess. I'm no good at explaining why I like certain guitarists and stuff. Is it really true that my mom was doing so? Yes, it is. Ugh. What's the matter? I'm just so average compared to her. Are you interested in the sciences as well? No, not really. I don't want to be like my dad. I see. Well then, what do you want to be? I play guitar in a band. We're going to be huge. A band? Interesting. Yeah, I want to be on stage. I want to move people with my music. I want to make... I think everyone has a grand design like that at one point or another. I suppose that's what they refer to as a dream. It's interesting to see how you think about the future. Your eyes may be your mother's, but on the inside, you're just like your father. That might be the worst thing anyone's ever... Thanks for telling me about my mom. I'm glad I got the chance to speak with you. Same here. By the way, what is that? Oh, this? It's my mom's pendant. I see. It's very beautiful. Ashley! Dan! I wonder what he wants. Maybe he found a lead about my bag. Um... Ryan, I... It's all right. Go ahead. Bueno, viene aquí el guarda forestal. No sé por qué viene cabrera el guarda forestal, la verdad. Lo vamos a dejar aquí, gente, en el siguiente avance de la historia, ya que hemos cambiado de capítulo. Yo creo que es un buen momento para, para dejarlo y así en el siguiente capítulo enlazamos este capítulo 2 del tirón. 
Espero que os haya gustado este vídeo, si os habéis dado like, suscribiros al canal para más y nos vemos en el próximo. Hasta pronto.